Hi, it's Sam from Muddy Math, where we clear up the muddy moments in middle school math. Today, we want to be able to name the four polygons that result from slicing a cube. Slice a cube with a two-dimensional plane and describe the polygonal cross-sections by a slice. There's important characteristics of a cube that help us understand why we can form these certain polygons. First of all, a cube is a rectangular prism. It's a special rectangular prism where all six faces are congruent squares. Every rectangular prism has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Here I have some examples of slices that you can draw. So you can get an equilateral triangle by connecting three midpoints of edges that meet at the same vertex. So you can see that here. You can make a rectangle by slicing through four faces and having the slice meet the base at an angle. If you met the base perpendicularly, you'd form a square. A trapezoid. A trapezoid is another quadrilateral. You want to go through four faces since it has four sides. You're going to make sure that two of the slice, two of the faces will be parallel because that is the important component of a trapezoid. The two bases are parallel and then connect the parallel faces to form your trapezoid. A pentagon needs to go through five faces because it has five sides. So I just draw a point on five of the edges and then I connect them to form a pentagon. Finally, hexagon. This is the most sided polygon we can form by slicing a cube since a cube has six faces. The polygon cannot have more than six faces in a slice. So we are going to make sure we connect six points and that will cut through six of the faces, all six faces of the square. Next we're going to use the silicone tray and play-doh to demonstrate how we can actually form these slices with a physical model. So first we're going to look at the triangle and to do that we want to cut through exactly three faces. So I always suggest to score the faces before you begin to cut and you can see that it's going to form a triangle. So now that I have the score I know exactly what angle to cut on and I can use this serrated plastic knife to cut through and there I have a triangle. So one of the cross sections of a cube is a triangle and you need to cut through exactly three faces to form it. Okay, so we have a triangle. Next, a quadrilateral. Okay, if I were to cut perpendicular to my cube and its base, boom, I have a square. So we have a triangle and a quadrilateral. Okay, so now for the pentagon. We want to score five of the faces of the cube to make sure that we will form a five-sided figure. Okay, so now that I have the scores properly placed, I'm using the serrated component of the knife to keep the shape. Otherwise, when I push through, it might not remain like I wanted to. And there you have a pentagon. Okay, so we have triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons. Okay, so here is a cube and we want to form a hexagonal cross section. Okay, now I know exactly what angle I need to cut in order to get through all six faces of the cube. Okay, my cut wasn't perfect, but there you have it. A hexagon. Okay, now we can trace these with marker to really be able to see the shapes. So here we have our triangle, the quadrilateral, the 
the Pentagon. And the hexagon. The 2D cross sections of a cube. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember, check back in for more videos on middle school math concepts. Be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you soon.